Welcome guys, this is Fabrizio Romano with a new YouTube video and today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. Fans love to watch their favorite teams in action when it looks impossible to access specific streaming sites using NordVPN seems the easy way out. Like any other tool, picking only the right VPN is essential. Share your passion for sports with your friends away from prying and malicious eyes. Support your favorite team without restrictions. NordVPN online security starts with one click. Grab your exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com here we go to get a huge discount of your NordVPN plan plus a bonus gift. It's completely risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. The link is in the description below. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel. Fabrizio Romano here, as always, to keep you posted on the transfer market. And today, guys, we touch on Camavinga, on Malo Gusto, on Ivan Fresneda, and on new signing for Manchester City. So let's jump into it together. And so guys, I wanted to start today with the words of the agent of Eduardo Camavinga, Joshua Barnett, exclusive interview after what I told you in the last video here on YouTube, as you know, always here updating you on Camavinga, the agent Joshua Barnett told me no way for Arsenal loan or Chelsea loan or any other club because many clubs in Europe, all the top clubs in Europe want Camavinga, but Real Madrid are very happy with him and Camavinga is very happy with Real Madrid. So no way, also Carlo Ancelotti confirmed the player is untouchable. So Camavinga is staying, but we have to keep an eye on Chelsea and Arsenal in the next days. Arsenal because Kivior signed the contract during the afternoon in London after the medical tests. We know Trossard the new signing, but now they have open talks with Valladolid for Ivan Fresneda. The player was not with the starting 11 because of this negotiation. With Arsenal, also Newcastle are interested in the player. The agents will be in London next week. Same future agents of Moises Caicedo to speak to English clubs, but Arsenal are now speaking seriously on the Fresneda deal. So keep an eye on this talented fullback, right back, born in 2004, because if Cedric Soares leaves Arsenal to join, probably, Fulham, this could be the way for Arsenal to go for Ivan Fresneda. So keep an eye on this very talented, born in 2004, right-back from Valladolid. And about right-backs, also Chelsea are tracking right-backs, and one of the players they are monitoring for sure is Malo Gusto. He's a player they appreciate, they've been following him, he's a player who's been in the list for a long time, so it's true that Chelsea are interested in Malo Gusto. He's one of the players in the list, together with Denzel Dumfries and other players in that position, but at the moment there is still no official bid from Chelsea. So let's see how it will continue probably next week for the Malo Gusto deal, but at the moment still no official bid or club-to-club -club contact. So let's see what's going to happen in the next days, but for sure the player is appreciated and we have to keep an eye on Chelsea for Malo Gusto and for new midfielder. We know that Caicedo is a top priority for them, but Brighton don't want to sell the player, so it's a really difficult one for January, and this is why Chelsea can try again because they already had contacts, but at the moment Caicedo deal is not easy. We have to follow that one or some new opportunity for Chelsea, also for new midfielder. Fielder. And then Manchester City deal completed and signed. Maximo Perrone. After Julian Alvarez, Man City signed another Argentinian player coming from Vélez, a really interesting player because he's very, very talented. And after Julian Alvarez, now Maximo Perrone will become City player. After the Sudamericano sub-20, he's now with the squad with Javier Mascherano as a manager, very big friend of Pep Guardiola. They had a conversation, I'm told, about Perrone. And Mascherano told Guardiola, sign this boy because he's a big talent. And so now the deal is done. He will go to City, so not on loan to any other club of City Group. He's going to Manchester City, as I told you in December, now everything has been signed. Contract till 2028, but also 9 million euros to Vélez. So the deal is done. Maximo Perrone to Man City. Here we go. Was at the end of December. Now we can say that is completed. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories. Arsenal, Chelsea, Camavinga, but also Maximo Perrone to City. I wait for your opinion here in the comments. Remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell. As always, guys, subscribe to the channel. Many things happening. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao.